My people, in the spirit of the upcoming protest on the 1st of August, things are really getting heated up as petrol prices have skyrocketed by 21% to 850 naira per liter. With shortages getting worse, we are seeing endless queues at stations and illegal hawkers making a killing, charging up to 1,500 naira per liter. It's been crazy out here. What is the way forward? Here is the news you can use. The Legal State Task Force, led by CSP Adeta Yoakirili, has stormed Agudingi and arrested 124 suspects who are into drug trafficking and street trading. After the raid, legit business owners were freed, while the shady ones will face the now short arms of the law. Still in Niger, Ondo State Governor Lokia Yudatiwa has just made some big moves by appointing Sheyi Law and Longa Fix Kalawali, Tommy De Akiribidu, among others, as senior special assistants. This change, effective immediately, is all about boosting governance and improving service delivery. Exciting times ahead. Meanwhile, in Sudan, the ongoing conflict has resulted in widespread sexual violence affecting women and girls aged 9 to 60. According to Human Rights Watch, 262 survivors have been treated by just 18 healthcare workers in Khartoum. The situation is truly devastating and we extend our deepest sympathy to the victims. Tragedy has struck northern Ethiopia as a boat carrying 26 passengers to a funeral has tragically sunk in a flash flood on the Tikeza River. At least 12 people have drowned in this devastating event. What was meant to be a solemn journey has turned into a profound tragedy, compounding the sorrow of their loss. And in a shocking twist, Nigerian lightweight boxer Cynthia Okunshimilori has tested positive for furosemide ahead of her Paris Olympics fight. She's been provisionally suspended, leaving fans in absolute disbelief. What a blow! There you have it on today's segment of News You Can't Use. Remember, a beautiful thing is never perfect. Keep it locked on your Central TV for more drip worthy updates.